So anyway, my wife and I are watching. Uh, she wanted to go in this kick on like now '90s movies, right? So we're going through. And we, we we're going through. Um, I think it was HBO on demand. And uh, thank you for the password. And we are. Um, and and we had watched Die Hard, the first one actually. Uh, yeah, which is not '90s, late '80s, but. They had sent it to me. I, I'd watch it, and I she didn't remember watching because thirtieth like, anniversary. Yeah, yeah, I had to like convince her to watch the first one because she doesn't remember watching it, and she loved it, right? So then, then we were, we had stumbled across the second one again. Uh, see, then the third one third, with a vengeance. Like Makuga's gonna Makuga and I are gonna get into it here because I like the third one. I think the third one's a really good movie. I think Die Hard Two is better as a Die Hard movie. I know. I know it's I know it is a very controversial opinion. I know it is something that people because I was watching and I, I, I the first half of the Die Hard with a Vengeance, I know that movie so well and I remember it so well. And I watched this the whole movie, I didn't remember a lot of the second half and I'm like that's because the second half of the movie falls apart. Like Simon Gruber goes out like a bitch. Falls he, apart is a very he, strong If dude it falls apart. Phrase. It's like they don't they didn't know what to do at the end of that movie. Like it's really clever and fun and you get into the history of what McLean is going through and all this stuff. It's really really good. And by the time you get to that last act on the boat and like with the goal, oh yeah, he's gonna steal the gold from his people. And then there's that one giant German dude who's such a cartoon. And then it's like, well, I'm gonna take out McLean once and for all. He gets he gets inside of the 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 helicopter and then McLean goes, say hello to your brother for me. It, it, it's not a great ending. Um, I'm sorry. It, it, you know that why? movie does yeah, have why? a great ending because the the script was actually Simon Says, and they made it into a Die Hard right. script. Right. So they they basically changed the ending to fit the Die Hard universe. But our buddy but uh, 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 Chris Duckman's one that turned me on to this. You can watch the alternate ending of Die Hard with a Vengeance. Oh. I don't know if it's on on it's blue right now, but it's on YouTube. Yeah. Have you seen the alternate ending? No. It is fantastic. What is it? What it's else? M- bring it up. Bring it up. McLean goes to. It, it, it's like eight minutes. McLean well, just, just bring up the, goes just bring it up. to um goes to like 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 Simon gets away. Oh, and then McLean finds out where he is, and he goes and he confronts him, and they have this back and forth. Yeah, this like conversation is just bringing everything I back. See. It is I so see. good. Okay, it's awesome. Oh, I see it. Yeah, okay. that that's that's the ending you got to glom onto. All right, but I also I, I'm not sure Why that they I change can, it. I, I'm not sure I can say I agree with you, yeah. but I am on the train that Die Hard 2 is a great action movie. It's a great and Die Hard movie. Bruce Willis great, in his absolute apex. It's a better Die Hard movie, and I still think that Die You're Hard with a Vengeance... Mm. Listen, I still think Die Hard with a Vengeance is a good action movie, and I see it's far superior. Like the, the fourth one still. I don't care if there's a director's cut. It was released as PG-13. It's a disgrace. The, and the fifth one sucks. Um, but the the third movie... The third movie is a great movie. It is. It's a great movie. And I just still... And I think that the, the chemistry with Sam Jackson and Bruce Willis is, is fantastic. And the reveal that uh, who uh, th- this guy Simon Peter actually is yeah, yeah, is one yeah. of my favorite moments in any yeah, action movie. That's the first movie. half of the movie. But you're getting into a little bit of like, a, is it a film? Is it a movie? When you no, say it's I'm a better Die Hard movie, because I think that Die Hard, to me, the concept of Die Hard was always John McClane. Try you can turn this off. Now. It's a guy. John, by, it's a guy by himself. John McClane trapped by himself has to figure it out. Has outside assistance here and there, and it's okay that in Die Hard: Avengers he didn't, but it felt a little more like a lethal but weapon. By the movie. time you get to the third movie, that you need, make, he needs a teammate. That's fine, but that doesn't take me out of the movie. Movie. It doesn't make the, the ending of the movie. The, I'm I'm curious to watch the ending here because the ending it's abrupt and then it's like oh I left Holly on hold and I got to call Holly. It's a little weird. It's weird. Eh, it's a little weird. Yeah. Okay. You understand some of these points? I can tell. No, in your no, face. no, no, no. Listen, here the only reason I don't like Die Hard two as much as Die Hard with a Vengeance. And by the by, Die Hard the Die Hard trilogy. I don't acknowledge the other two just yeah. like I don't acknowledge uh, Crystal Skull. Um, Rocky Five. Sure. I, I like Rocky Five. I know I'm gonna. Rocky Five's a better movie if it ends in a ring. Sorry. Go True. Ahead. Agreed. Yeah. Not in the street and punching yeah. George yeah. Washington Duke. Yeah. But Die Hard Two, the only for the is because it's on Christmas again. He's in an airport again. So what? Like it? That's it's just too convenient. I love Die Hard with. How the does the same thing because... happen? The same guy. Come on. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point. I know. I, I get it. But I will say, as far as endings go, I don't think you need to see him, Willem Sadler's ass. But in Die that. Hard Two. When he lights yep. the, the trail yep. of gasoline, awesome. it's one of the greatest endings of an action movie ever. And, and then he says, yippee ki motherfucker. And then I was like, okay, good. Uh, yeah. Not yeah. according yeah. to the TNT version. According yeah. to the TNT version, he says, yippee ki Mr. Falcon. <laughs> oh, nice. It's one, of the, it's one of the most notorious bad <laughs> overdubs. Oh, oh, my God. The There's best no one. Mr. Falcon in the movie. The Mr. Show dub just... when he did Motherfather. <laughs> yeah. That's the best. <laughs> what the should best. it have been? What should they do? Kaye motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, no, uh, you can't do that on TNT, no. though. No. Uh, what do you got? Uh, Riley's got. You got some stuff. I'll, I'll get, yeah, back, get back, to back to you. Me. Who do we have? Fuck. 
You have a phone call? Yeah, so say say who's on right now. Hey, who we have a phone call right now. Who do we got? Hey, guys. Uh, Frank here. Uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. <laughs> I am loving all these hot takes uh, about Die Hard. Yeah. I'm just wondering if you could keep it down a little bit because <laughs> uh, I'm trying to work over here. Absolutely not, Frank. For those who so, don't know, Frank works right next yeah, door. Yeah, Frank is – so Frank is right next door. We just knocked on his, on his door. He's in the editing suite. He was so excited to hear that Clyde Alive is coming right next door and be his neighbor. But I asked him, though, Frank, are you still on the phone? Yeah, I'm loving the energy. All right, so Frank, let me uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a question, Frank. So you only have one choice. You only have one choice. You you, you can't. There, there's not a neither. It's either you get Collider live three times a week, or you get Collider body slam with Ryan Satin and John Roca once a week. Collider what do life, you take? I would rather have Collider live instead of Ryan whispering on the other side of the room <laughs> Ryan once Satin, a week. Ryan Satin, who is a, an absolutely great dude, um, is the loudest individual that you've ever met, and he's louder than, than Ellis. And Ellis is a very loud... When Ellis whispers, he shouts. Ryan's this guy's, a very good broadcaster. He's a great really broadcaster. Really enjoy it. But he's, his show is great. Very um, vocal. And yeah. he just, he's, a, he's a yeller. He yeah. yells when he talks. So, um, but anyway, Frank... Frank, Frank have Frank? Frank? I, oh, Frank. I am the number one Frank fan. I am in the Frank. Great. I mean, I couldn't be a bigger supporter yeah. of the Frank fan. Club. Who does Afterthoughts like better, Brett or or Frank? That's a question. Ooh. Uh, if we could give Brett the mic real yeah, quick, sure. I, because because Brett's been out of the loop for a little bit here, uh, and Frank is is like the new kid on the block. Right. Frank is like the flavor of the month when it comes to, to Ryan right, and Jay. Right. So He's... Brett, if there's something that you could say to Ryan and Jay to get them back on Team Brett over Team Frank, just say how hello. would you sell it? Oh, please love me. Yeah, they that's, got that's you. Got it. I mean. You don't that have to. Usually works. They love you. Yeah. Um, yeah. You beg women and men to love yeah. you. Well, when f- it happens. well, Frank, we're gonna be. Uh, we're definitely gonna be mm-hmm. having some more um, <laughs> conversations with you. So we'll make sure when, when we know that you're right in the midst of a very uh, heated project, something you're working on hard. We'll make sure that we send Brett in with a microphone to disturb <laughs> you. So there I you appreciate go. it. You got Looking it. forward to this, you guys. Thank Thanks, you, Frank. Frank. All right. So Frank is there. Die Hard is. Uh, do you have any comments out there, Riley, about how many people think I'm crazy? Uh, uh, no. I no? don't know. I haven't looked uh, for so that much. particular topic. Okay. I was just with the crushes still. Oh, and what, what's going on with the crushes? A uh, lot, lot of uh, celebrity first crushes. Yeah, like My favorite is Eddie Ruiz, uh, P- Punky Brewster. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. So that's, that's a good one, was, right? She was yeah. hot. Uh, but then, you know, you have your usual suspects. Yeah. Uh, you know, Carrie Fisher was right. mentioned quite a bit. Harrison Ford from The Fugitive, Oxford, yep. not Brew. Yeah. Uh, wow. Let's see. Uh, Nev Campbell from Scream 3. Yeah. Scream 3? Scream 3. Why, why yeah. not one? I don't know. Oh, All right. I don't know. Maybe it was... Wow. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Uh, then we have... Uh, I saw Hayden Panettiere from uh, Oh, yeah, Heroes. Heroes, yeah. Heroes, yeah. Okay. Do you know that she, do you know she married or she was dating Vladimir Klitschko? Married. Married him, right? Mar- she, yeah, they're like she's together. She's like five one. He's like six eleven. Yeah, that is crazy. I don't know how that works. Like Perfect s- height. Can you like carry her around? She is tiny. I punked her. Oh, did you? Yeah. What? At how? A tanning salon. Oh, I didn't see she that. She was one. dating one of the kids from the Real OC. Okay. So I don't even know if she was like, <laughs> if she was like the the. I, I think she was the accomplice with me. Oh, really? I think we were getting the kid from the Real how OC. I remember that. Yeah. I, you don't care. I, I really don't know. You punked her? Yeah, yeah. he was on Punked. Remember yeah. that show Punked? Yeah, yeah the after Ellis, picture show? Yeah. Ellis was one of the guys yeah. on remember, Punked. Remember uh, uh, Martin Lewis used to host it yeah. back in the 60s? He got, he, got, he, got, <laughs> he got thrown in a pool Am by... Am I uh, getting punked? No, no, no. Who was it? Who was the one that Michael... Michael, Sh- uh, Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen threw had you in a no pool. I had no idea who the hell that guy was either. Yeah, and then 10 years right later, I, I watched Frost Nixon. And I'm like, yeah. this guy looks so familiar. Threw you right in a pool. Threw me right in a pool. Roxy, how many Die Hard movies have you seen? All of them? Yeah, yeah, but not for some time Are you? How do you rank them? I don't know. You got to go back I, and revisit. Yeah, I'd have to go back. Yeah. I thought that I thought it was one, three, two, four, four. Huh? Yeah, no, you don't even talk about general that. General consensus, yeah. but I can't but remember I'm who it was. Sure now, because now I don't know if it holds up for me. I'd have to you go gotta back. Go back maybe, and watch maybe two's better. You got to go see. It's th- see the thing is two can uh, can definitely get it. Chime in, guys. All over, uh, hashtag Collider Live on Twitter. Riley will go through, and it's okay if you if you think I'm bananas for feeling that way. I just I just I just watched it, so it's kind of a fresh take. I think it's. If I was going to rank them, I'd rank it one, two, and three. Those, those are my favorite. Now it's, I think the, I, I think that they're about tied. It's definitely Rennie Harlan's best movie. Yes, um, easily. No, Cutthroat Tom Island. Tom came back for uh, Die Hard Kid. with a Vengeance, but there's so many iconic moments in Die Hard with a Vengeance. There is the elevator scene. Oh, there's great the movie. reveal. Great, great. There's great. the opening. Yeah. There's it's the just... bombs themselves. They're made of that that dual liquid. Right. Everything you guys are talking, I'm agreeing with. Like yeah. again, no guts, no core. It's that. It's no that. Guts, no yeah, I think that you mentioned it. I think what you said before. 
you put the ending of Die Hard two against the ending of Die Hard three, I think Die Hard two wins. No, I don't. I don't disagree with that. And, and I will say, no question. Yeah. Even in the roast of Bruce Willis when he said Die Hard is not a Christmas movie, he I know he's it's his movie, but he's wrong because it's a Christmas movie, and so yeah. is Die Hard two. Yeah. Right. Uh, and you can watch them during holiday season, and they will totally make your holiday season that much better. I probably watch one of them once a day during right. holiday season, right. or at least when it's on. Crazy exactly. to watch how much shit you could get away with at airports in, yeah. uh, in yeah. 1990. And here's, yeah. the, here's yeah. the one thing yeah. about Die Hard 2 that we're all forgetting, is that Dennis Franz is in that movie. Oh, yeah, he is. And, and his brother, too. And he's and, also and, brother. And action movie veteran always lends an authoritarian veteran presence. He's a leader. He's a congressman. Fred S. Yeah. Thompson. Yes. Rest Fantastic. in peace. Fantastic. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. Um, all right, Riley, what do we got so far? Collider Live there. You're going uh, through I mean, the... Everybody's going wild on the on the uh, the crushes, so I haven't okay. seen oh. much, but uh, the best... They're on the crushes. Best bad d- dude I've ever... Or bad, bad dub dude. I've ever heard. Snakes on a Plane, Sam Jackson's iconic... Like, that's not about Die Hard. Yeah. I saw, I saw yeah, Sam Jackson. Kind of a die so. Hard with I like I, I like how Riley's just like... He just thinks something and it just pops out of his mouth. Yeah, no, but I think yeah. that's important for the show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> drink that hot on sauce. On the sauce, real right? OC or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting theory, Christian Arloff defining a Die Hard movie by a closed in action movie. I'd give Die Hard to the edge. Yeah. I prefer three because it's less Die Hard. Yeah, I mean, that's, and that's fine. I mean, again, yeah. again, good movie, shitty ending. 